My name is Kaylee. This is Heavy Chef, South Africa's biggest and fastest growing entrepreneur organization designed to stimulate positive change in this country from the ground up and not solely wait for a top down approach. Now, today we're interested in the concept of community and why community is so core to entrepreneurship. And with us, we're talking to Arlene Mulder, who is the founder of a coding academy called We Think Code. Ladies and gentlemen, Arlene. To begin with, can you tell us a little bit about your story and how it is that you find yourself as a social entrepreneur? So my journey started off by studying business, mathematics and informatics. So I've actually been coding since high school. I then joined RMB as an investment banker. So at first I built all the credit risk rating models and I coded and then for five years I worked in the M&A division in corporate finance. So during that time I saw a lot um, what was happening in the industry and interacting with business leaders and just finding out what, is, what are the things that they're most worried about. And they were all talking about this digital revolution and what are they going to do to be ready um, to compete in this new era that we're entering. And the main thing that everyone was really worried about was where we're going to find the digital skills mm -hmm. that will be solving these problems for us. Got it. So you then set about stepping out of the company to go and build a community of developers, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, firstly, I'm really passionate about our country and the incredible talent that we have. We have all these amazing, creative young people um, that are really, really talented. But what happened in this country is that we just don't all have access to opportunities, and especially in the education space. So firstly, if you do not have a very good secondary education and good marks in high school, for example, if you don't at least have 70% for math, you can't study coding. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the affordability problem. A lot of people do not have access or can afford to study further. Got it. So your model that you guys brought in in terms of teaching coding skills offered free education. Absolutely. And when we started out, it was actually the whole fees must fall campaign. So everyone was fighting about um, university fees. And here we came with a totally new model where we said, well, we'll make it free. But it's difficult to get in. So we find the top 1% of talent. And if you make it through our application process and you work really hard, then you study completely for free with us. And tell me, how do you go about finding this top 1%? Because now you've got this curriculum that you brought together. How did you guys get those first community, community members? So uh, it's always not easy to start building the community, but I think in our case, um, we were just really honest about who we are. We said, okay, you don't even need matric to apply. It's open to absolutely anyone, no matter where you're from. You could also be from a very um, great, the best private school in the country. It doesn't matter. We're open to anyone. And we just look for people who were born to code. So in order to join our community, you had to just play games. So literally games online, if you scored well enough, then you come through a boot camp. So this is a rigorous four week process. We've got 24 hour challenges, Saturdays, Sundays included. You just have to be there. And then we also test, do you love this? So we're looking for people who are born to code, who love to code, and who want to be part of this community. Got it. And what was, I mean, some major differences for you stepping out of an investment banking community to this coding community? Oh, it's very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many differences. Um, I think the biggest difference if you go from a big corporate to a startup is, of course, the support. Um, you kind of have to do everything yourself in the beginning. Um, but I think the coding community is amazing. It's really creative people. Yeah. It's curious people. People who, they will not go to sleep because they have to solve a problem. And this is, this is what we look for. And this is from the start, we've always been very clear about that. Um, we're not here to hold your hand. Um, it's not gonna be easy. You have to work really hard, but you have to be here because you love it. Now you've built, how many people have come through your system to date? We've had more than 250,000 applications. We've selected over 800 students. And because it takes two years to graduate, we've gradu so a lot of our students are still studying first and second year. We've graduated 250 students. What lessons do you have for entrepreneurs that are looking at building a community? The first lesson I would say is just to be authentic. You have to be true to yourself. It's something that you can't fake. You can't pretend to be one thing and then do another. So in our case, we said, 
we're absolutely open to anyone. It's free to anyone. And it's all about we find the top 1%. So you have to work really hard, be um, highly skilled and talented. So you know what you're getting when you join the community. So really be authentic. I would say the second thing is also to understand your community and to communicate with them. If you don't communicate um, openly all the time, you are going to miss each other. And it might be something small, and that, then it's not really a community. Then it's a one-way broadcasting system. So the communication. And then it's the consistency. You can't start off with some message and then let it deteriorate and then change a bit. Um, you have to be really consistent in this is who we are, this is what we stand for. And if you do make a mistake, just own up to it and say, look, we, this wasn't what we stood for. We know that, we take responsibility, and we're going to change that. Got you. Now, I know we were supposed to end on that question, mm -hmm. but I've got one more question for you, and that is, why is it important for entrepreneurs in the digital era to build a community? I think we're all so used to open communities now. And I think it's not just today. Um, the world has always worked around communities. And we've always been wanting to be part of a tribe. But today, it's just easier and more accessible to find communities. Gotcha. But that also makes it people could be quite fickle. So they could easily now leave your community. So now, if you don't have your principles, people will just leave your community, which I would say in the past, it might have been more difficult to change communities. Now it's very easily accessible to just change communities. Got you. And in that point, you know, how have you guys really differentiated your offering as a coding academy that you're keeping people coming back to We Think Code? I think we also realized it's not necessarily about the education. I mean, today you can find content online, free, everywhere. In fact, a lot of developers teach themselves online. We realize it's more firstly creating the community. We also have a physical space so that our students can come and engage with each other. Everything at We Think Code is peer-to-peer -peer learning. And then we also link our students to industry. And if you ask me who is our community, it's not just the coders, it's also the corporates. Uh, we've got one of our biggest customers in Joburg, BBD, one of the guys, people think he's part of We Think Code. They spend so much time there. They're part of us. They also, they give some of their time to help our students. Um, they give soft skills. They are really part of us. And that's what sets everything apart. And our students want to work at some of these incredible companies. And it's very difficult to have access to companies and jobs like that. And we provide that bridge between really talented people and incredible jobs. And this is such a valuable point because we were talking about it earlier that <coughs> you guys have realized you're not just a community of developers, that actually your mm. community extends into these corporates mm. and that, that is the value that you're yes. offering and like connecting you know, into one bigger community. Absolutely. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Arlene Mulder from We Think Code on the topic of developing a community and the importance of community within an entrepreneur's journey. Now, if you would like to hear more lessons from prominent entrepreneurs such as Arlene, then you can do so by visiting Heavy Chef at www.heavychef.com. And of course, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe on these videos. Ladies and gentlemen, until next week, hamba